Make now sense. look, that woman on the A from the AIE on Meet the Press, obviously either not terribly bright or just assumes that the rest of us aren't. And it's probably the latter. She's probably smart enough uh, to know what she's saying is all a bunch of lies and obfuscation. Uh, ob obfuscation. Thank you. She's probably better at enunciating than I am. Nevertheless, uh, she's full of uh, weak gruel. So you're probably thinking like, who? Excuse me, it's Christine Todd Whitman. Apologies. Christine Todd Whitman. Yes, exactly. Meg Whitman ran in uh, California. Um, so uh, we heard from the uh, woman from a AIE who um, was trying to sell us on the notion that she's not a scientist. So she can't possibly say what causes global warming. She's enough of a scientist to concede now that there is global warming. I don't know where she heard that from. Probably scientists. But she's not enough of a scientist to agree with the scientists that it is a function of what uh, humanity is doing to our planet. And she's not enough of a scientist to accept that scientists are saying there are certain things that we can do uh, to impact global climate change. So she's probably pretending to be um, somewhat dim on this. Which leads us to the next question. Is Mike Lee, Senator Mike Lee, pretending to be so dim on this? Here he is on Meet the Press making, um, well, I don't know uh, what kind of argument about global climate change. Someone else. Uh, final question. I'm curious your reaction to the climate report. Um, it, it, this is from the federal government. Congress, you guys ordered the federal government to do this. And let me give you, read you one of the conclusions. With continued growth in emissions at historic rates, annual losses in some economic sectors are projected to reach hundreds of billions of dollars by the end of the century, more than the current gross domestic product of many U.S. states. Essentially, this document isn't just painting a picture of, of an environmental catastrophe that's coming, but an economic catastrophe. What are you going to do about it in the U.S. Congress, Senator? Well, first of all, I look forward to digging into the report and listening to what other experts on the outside have to say about it. Uh, I think it's important anytime we take a report like that to examine what public policies uh, they might have in mind, what public policies that could be brought forward that would address the problem they're addressing without simultaneously devastating the U.S. economy. There's no question that for a variety of reasons, and regardless of where one stands uh, uh, on the issue of climate change, that uh, the burning of fossil fuels uh, does emit into the environment a number of things that uh, aren't the healthiest. Should we put a price on carbon? Uh, uh, Are you open to a carbon Earth? tax? Are you open to a carbon tax? No, no, okay. no, I'm, I'm, I'm not. All the proposals I've seen so far that would address any of these issues would devastate the U.S. economy and have little or no uh, benefit okay. that is demonstrable from our standpoint. And so I, I, I have yet to see a proposal that would bring this about. I think if we're going to move away from fossil fuels, that's got to be done through innovation. And innovation can be choked out through excessive government re regulation. We can't let that happen. All right, Senator Mike Lee. So, so the U.S. government is choking the innovation to come up with alternative energy sources, like maybe they're, what are they giving, too many loans to solar companies? Um, there's a guy who seemingly completely unprepared to answer that question. Couldn't even come up with his own talking points about that. Pretty stunning. I think especially when we talk about uh, energy, it's great to remind ourselves that there's nothing in innately positive about innovation, right? Like a company like Exxon is incredibly innovative at finding new ways of getting to further, sort of like harder and harder to reach oil deposits as an example like part of that's that is innovation also, well and part of that's that is also scientific. just the cost of oil going up so no, no, but as I'm, the price of oil goes up a lot true. of things open uh, become much more viable well that's and, true yes no, no, they're but innovative literally in the way that people use these terms as like some innate positive process of like scientifically minded capable people finding new ways to do things that are difficult it, that doesn't mean that's translated to more efficient energy or getting us off of oil. It doesn't mean anything. Well, yeah, I don't think Mike Lee is interested in getting us right, off of, oil of anyway. Of course not. Of I mean, I not. think broadly speaking, the... No, Mike Lee's super concerned. Yeah. 
He's very concerned. He's ready to dig he's, into that report. Yeah, yeah he's, he's ready to dig into that. Can't report. wait to dig into this. It was baby. funny before he got to his full spin, like midway through that interview. It's almost like it almost was the like college didn't do your work presentation. We're just like, and with that all concluded, I will be happy to take your questions. He was totally like that. Very- is definitely a report. And it was uh, clearly put out by the federal government. And And so concludes. uh, And I'm not just going to read that report. I'm going to get some other reports of my own. Just a full holistic report. I want to really take this in both sky level, but also in the details. And thank you. Reports are super important, which is why you will see them reported. So I've looked at that. Oh, this is uh, let's for go sure. to the uh, phones. Call him from a two. 